Welcome to Explain, a series of health education programs published by the Patient Education Institute, the leading provider of interactive health education. This video includes general medical information and does not replace the medical advice of your doctor or healthcare provider. If you have questions pertaining to your medical condition, ask your doctor or healthcare provider. Cardiac ablation for atrial fibrillation. Introduction. Atrial fibrillation, also called AFib or AF, is a common heart rhythm problem. Catheter ablation uses heat or cold to destroy tissue causing the abnormal rhythm. This program explains cardiac ablation for atrial fibrillation. It discusses the risks and benefits of the procedure. The heart. Understanding how the heart works helps you to understand cardiac ablation for atrial fibrillation. The heart is an important muscle in the body. The heart has two sides, the right side and the left side. Each side of the heart has two chambers, an atrium and a ventricle. After the body uses oxygen that is in the blood, the blood enters the heart through the right atrium. The right atrium contracts. Blood is pumped to the right ventricle. The right ventricle contracts. Blood is pumped to the lungs. In the lungs, the blood is loaded with the oxygen that we breathe. From the lungs, blood that is rich in oxygen goes to the left atrium. The left atrium contracts. Blood is pumped to the left ventricle. The left ventricle contracts. Blood is pumped to the whole body through the biggest artery, the aorta. The organs and tissues take oxygen from the blood. Finally, the blood goes back to the right atrium. The cycle begins again. Heart contractions are synchronized. This means that the atria contract together and then the ventricles contract together. A normal heart rate at rest is usually between 60 and 100 beats per minute. The heart beats faster in response to stress or exercise. It can also slow down when a person is at rest. The muscles of the heart contract and pump blood because a small electric current activates them. The current starts in a place inside the heart. It is called the sinus node. The current causes the atria to contract and pump blood to the ventricles. From the sinus node, the electric current travels through fibers to another area of the ventricles. It is called the atrioventricular node or AV node. From the AV node, the electric current goes to the ventricles. This causes them to contract and pump blood. Atrial fibrillation. Atrial fibrillation, or AFib, is the most common type of arrhythmia. An arrhythmia is a problem with the speed or rhythm of the heartbeat. Arrhythmias may happen if the sinus node does not generate enough heartbeats. The sinus node rhythm becomes abnormal. Other areas in the atria take over the function of the sinus node. Other arrhythmias happen because there is an interruption in the electrical wiring of the heart. This causes the ventricles to beat separately from the atria. AFib is when the atrium of the heart beats too fast and irregularly. Symptoms of AFib include anxiety, chest pain, fluttering feeling in the chest, lack of energy, lightheadedness and fainting, palpitations, a sensation of rapid or irregular heartbeats, shortness of breath, AFib can happen in several different patterns. It can be intermittent, persistent, permanent. Intermittent AFib is when the heart beats irregularly for a few seconds, minutes, hours, or days, and then goes back to normal on its own. In persistent AFib, the heart beats irregularly but does not revert back to its normal rhythm without treatment. Long-standing persistent AFib lasts more than 12 months. Permanent AFib happens continuously. Returning the heart to its normal rhythm is not possible. The patient must take medication throughout their life. AFib can sometimes lead to blood clots, stroke, or heart failure. AFib is often caused by a heart condition, but sometimes it can be caused by alcohol abuse, hyperthyroidism, 
pulmonary embolism, which is a blood clot in the lungs, pneumonia, which is an infection of the lungs. Sponsored by the Patient Education Institute www.patient-education.com Over 5,000 videos and interactive tutorials. Alternative Treatments Treatment for atrial fibrillation aims to slow and regulate the heartbeat and reduce the risk of blood clots leading to strokes. Choice of treatment for AFib depends on the type of AFib, the severity of symptoms, the underlying cause, your overall health. Lifestyle changes may prevent AFib caused by alcohol abuse. Taking medication may also prevent episodes of AFib. Other treatments for AFib include cardioversion or defibrillation, implanting a pacemaker, surgery. Healthcare providers may suggest catheter ablation for patients who are at risk of sudden death or other dangerous complications of AFib. Catheter ablation may help in cases where medications fail or produce severe side effects. Catheter ablation uses heat or cold to destroy tissue causing the abnormal rhythm. Before the procedure, your healthcare provider will perform a physical exam. He or she will ask you questions about your personal and family medical history. An electrocardiogram, or EKG, will be done. This is the primary test to determine if an arrhythmia is AFib. An EKG, as well as blood tests, may reveal if the heart has been damaged. If your healthcare provider recommends cardiac ablation to treat your atrial fibrillation, you will need to stop smoking and avoid secondhand smoke for 24 hours before the procedure. Stop eating and drinking about 8 to 12 hours before the procedure. Your healthcare provider will tell you whether you should continue taking your medications before the procedure. Cardiac ablation. Cardiac ablation is done in a healthcare facility. Before the procedure, you will be given medication to help you relax. A catheter will be placed in your neck, arm, or groin. The area where it will be inserted will be sanitized and numbed with an anesthetic. A small incision will be made in your skin to place a catheter into a blood vessel. X-ray images will help the provider guide the catheter into the heart. Electrodes find the problem areas, which are then destroyed. Electrical energy is used to cause scarring and prevent an irregular heart rhythm. The procedure takes a few hours. A healthcare provider carefully monitors your heart throughout the procedure. You may feel dizzy, a burning sensation, or a strong or racing heartbeat at some point during the procedure. Some patients require open heart surgery to fix AFib. A catheter procedure has the benefit of a shorter recovery and is less invasive. Risks and Complications Cardiac ablation is safe. Complications are rare. You need to know about them just in case they happen. By being aware of potential problems, you can help your healthcare provider detect problems. Complications of cardiac ablation include bleeding where the catheter is inserted, blood clots, Damage to nerves, the heart valve, or arteries. Fluid around the heart. Heart attack. Heart puncture. Your risk of having these complications may increase if you have diabetes or kidney disease. You also have a greater risk of complications from ablation if you're 75 or older. Catheter ablation often resolves AFib the first time, but some people need another procedure or medication afterwards. After the procedure. After the cardiac ablation procedure, you will rest for a few hours. Your heart rhythm will be closely monitored. Your healthcare provider will decide if you can go home on the same day as the procedure. You may need to stay in a healthcare facility overnight. A family member or friend will need to drive you home. For a few days after the procedure, it is normal to feel tired. Your chest may ache. It is also normal for your heart to beat quickly or irregularly for a few days before it stabilizes. You should be able to resume your normal activities in 24 hours. Until then, do not drive a car, 
make important decisions, sign legal documents. If your catheter was placed through a vein in your groin, do not lift heavy objects or climb upstairs for 48 hours. Contact a healthcare provider immediately if you have a high fever, dizziness, new chest pain, severe bleeding, shortness of breath, vomiting. To keep your heart healthy and your blood pressure within the normal range, avoid caffeine and alcohol. Eat heart-healthy foods and limit salt intake. Exercise regularly. Stay at a healthy weight or lose weight if needed. Quit smoking if you smoke. If you like this video, please like and share. For similar videos, subscribe to our channel. Summary Atrial fibrillation is a common heart rhythm problem. It happens when the atrium of the heart beats too fast and irregularly. Symptoms of AFib include anxiety, chest pain, fluttering feeling in the chest, lack of energy, lightheadedness and fainting, palpitations, a sensation of rapid or irregular heartbeats. Treatment for atrial fibrillation aims to slow and regulate the heartbeat and reduce the risk of blood clots leading to strokes. Catheter ablation uses heat or cold to destroy tissue causing the abnormal rhythm. Healthcare providers may suggest catheter ablation for patients at risk of sudden death or other dangerous complications of AFib. Catheter ablation may help in cases where medications fail or produce severe side effects. Thank you for using Explain.